Hi, it's time for another verb of the day. Today's verb is handle. Let's take a look at some of the definitions or ways that we use the, this verb. The first way you might hear handle used is to mean to manage a situation or, or perhaps a problem. This can even uh, be used to mean to deal with someone or something. This is uh, a very common way to use this verb handle. You will hear it um, from newscasters or read it in newspapers. Um, anytime there is some sort of situation or problem, um, you are likely going to um, see this particular verb. And you'll see some examples of this uh, a little later. A second way you might hear handle used is to mean to drive or control a vehicle. A third way you might hear handle used is to mean to feel or manipulate with the, ha with the hands, using the hands. So we can kind of see that root word in this particular verb. A fourth way you might hear handle is to mean to defend oneself, right? So uh, someone might say something along the lines of I'm able or I can handle uh, this particular uh, person or, or thing. You might hear this a little bit in movies and TV shows where there's the potential for some kind of physical altercation or fight. A fifth way you might hear handle used is mean to conduct oneself in a particular manner or in a particular way. Um, so people will uh, talk about kind of their behavior essentially using this particular verb. You should know that handle is a regular verb. To make the progressive form, we're going to drop the E and add ing to form handling. The past tense and participle forms of this verb um, are made with our, our regular ending, our ed ending. The base verb handle ul, ul, has an, a voiced L sound. So our past tense ending is going to make a D sound, but we're not adding an extra syllable. So it should sound like this, handled, handled. Okay. Now you'll be happy to know, no additional meanings with phrasal verbs. That's going to allow us to practice using our verb of the day in a couple different verb tenses. Today we're gonna practice the simple past tense and the present progressive or sometimes known as the present continuous. Let's start with the simple past tense. We're using this particular verb tense to know that an action has been completed at some known point in the past. Sometimes you will see time signals indicating what was known. Words like yesterday or maybe a phrase like uh, 10 weeks ago. Uh, or you might even see a specific date or point in time. Now, the nice thing about affirmative uh, sentences here in the simple past tense is it doesn't matter what your subject is. The structure is going to be the same. So we're going to use that ED form of the verb. An example of this might be this law firm handled legal matters for my business last year. Right. So it goes back to that first definition of dealing with maybe some problems or some type of complicated situation. Now, if you want to make a negative uh, simple past tense sentence, you can use did not and then the base verb, or you can use didn't and then the base verb. Another example of this might be he did not handle the breakup well. So sometimes we know uh, when couples uh, date and then stop dating, um, Sometimes they, they don't conduct themselves well. Um, so this could be a little bit of the fifth meaning. Um, maybe this person yelled or, or did something else um, that really just not uh, positive, not kind behavior. If you want to make a yes or no question in the simple past tense, start with did, then you're going to have your subject, and then uh, the base verb. So notice with the negative and our yes or no question, we are not using the ED form of the verb. We only use that in the affirmative. Here's another example. Did they handle the package with care? Right? So that might go back to that idea of manipulating something with our hands, right? Did they move this item uh, carefully? 
would be perhaps an, another way to uh, ask this question. Now let's take a look at the present progressive. We're using this verb tense to talk about something that is happening right now or something that is in progress. To make the present progressive, we need two parts. We need a present form of be, so that's am with the subject I, are with the subjects you, we, or they, or is with the subjects he, she, or it. Okay, so we use a present form of be and then that ing form of the verb. Here's an uh, affirmative example. ABC Funeral Home is handling arrangements for their mother. Again, we might see this uh, particular verb used in connection to uh, maybe having a, a wake, a visitation, a funeral, um, who, who is uh, sort of controlling or dealing with uh, this particular situation. Now, if you want to make a negative present progressive sentence, again, we're going to start with our form of be, then we're going to insert not, and then we'll use the ing form of the verb. An example of this might be, military leaders are not handling sexual harassment and assault cases properly. Okay. So this is uh, going back to that first definition, how they're dealing with this particular problem. Finally, if we want to make a yes or no question in the present progressive, we're going to start with a form of be, whatever form matches our subject, the subject comes next, and then we'll use that ing form of the verb. An example of this is President Biden handling the pandemic well. Right? And again, I feel like this is another common usage. We'll uh, many times talk about how a particular leader is handling some type of situation. How are they dealing with this problem? Um, what are they doing maybe to resolve it or make things better? Now let's spend just a couple minutes looking at words that are related to our verb handle. And the first word we're going to look at is just the noun form of this word. So same spelling, same pronunciation. It can have a few different meanings. One is the part by which some object is either held, carried, or controlled. An example of this might be in the sentence, the handle on my bag broke. Right? So the part in which I was using uh, to hold or carry this particular object, now it's broken. I thought it might also help to have a, a picture. Right, um, There are handles all around us. So in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, uh, this might be something you find in a kitchen. Right. Uh, those silver objects you see here, right, we would call these handles. Uh, many times uh, on a door, um, there is a handle. And so that, that is the part by which something is controlled, right? Moved back and forth. Another way we can use the noun handles to refer to either a name, a nickname, um, or a username on social media. And so you might hear that um, last part used more commonly. An example of this, what's your Twitter handle? What's your username on Twitter? A third way to use the noun handle is to refer to a large bottle of liquor, of alcohol. Um, and generally, it's about the equivalent of a half gallon, which is, a, a, again, a large quantity. An example of this might be the company gave every employee a handle of vodka as a gift. The next noun uh, we're going to look at is a phrase I think you might hear, uh, especially if you're shopping online, you might see shipping and handling. So commonly, these are extra fees um, for uh, ordering items and having them mailed or shipped to you. Uh, so this whole phrase is all about the packaging and sending, right? So someone has to put it in the box. Someone has to take the box from one point to another point. So that's that idea of handling. An example of this in a sentence might be shipping and handling fees are $9.95 for this item. The last phrase we're going to look at today is uh, a handle on something. So frequently we're going to see this phrase used with uh, the verb have or maybe the verb got. And so this phrase to have a handle on something means 
you have an understanding of it, right? So if we use the negative, I don't have a handle on something, right? I don't understand it. So an example of this, do you have a handle on this new invoicing system, right? So do you understand this new process we have to follow at work? Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you feel like you have a handle on how to use the verb handle. Have a great day.